Okay, we have a filter here that we made out of a two liter bottle. Okay, we have this cotton, free cotton, that was in the freezer that I used to filter water. I had 254 parts per million in this tap water, which is out of this faucet. Okay, so this. It's 254 parts per million and what we're doing is creating a recycling process for a cotton filter in a, a two liter bottle with a reverse end on a um, dowel rod okay that's screwed on with a drywall screw and what we're going to show is that even though your filter can be boiled Okay, it can be compressed and frozen. We're going to show that even though it is put in dirty water, you can still get reduced PPM out of your filter. And that's parts per million. So, we're going to do a little test here. We're dethawing and cooking and cleaning the infection out of our filter. Okay. And what we're going to show later in another video, video number two of this set, is we're going to show that the water will be filtered. And how we're going to do it is this PPM gauge right here. Okay? And then we're going to plug it in and measure filtered water in this little 50 milliliter beaker. Um, uh, and then when we do that, we're going to show that the water is potentially reduced through the filtration process. And this has little slits cut in it with a knife. Um, it basically just allows water to slowly drip and it fits perfectly down in this. Perfectly. It's tight. It's sealed and water rises up in it. Okay. If you cut it right at the line there, you can see that it fits. And then you put a screw in the bottom of the dowel to hold it taut. You got to compress the cotton and put it in tight. And once you compress the cotton, that's what the dowel rod is for, is to pull it taut and then compress it. Put a screw in it and hold it in place. So we're going to boil this cotton and we'll get back with you on the filtration process will be ne the next two two or three videos next one or two videos so thanks for watching bye